So I've just checked out of the hostel. I'm going to leave Bruges and next stop will be Brussels, then Frankfurt and then Nuremberg because I'm going to Nuremberg for a football match tomorrow. And then I'm going to head towards Copenhagen on Saturday. I'm at the train station and it's only light but for the first time in about six weeks I see rain. Unbelievable, Jeff. Look at all those cars coming on the train. There's loads of them. There must be a million pounds in cars there. And the rest. The train is massive. I'm sure Daniel would want one of them. Not that he can drive. Drive me round the bend. I'm on the train and these cars are still coming along. There's loads of them. I've been on the train for like two minutes. They keep coming. They're still coming. Oh my, oh my word. There's so many of them. There's millions of cars, a million pounds of cars. Oh, they're still coming. Cars everywhere. So the train's now pulling into Brussels. So I change it Brussels to go to Frankfurt. Next. Okay, I've just made Brussels. I've only just managed to make this train to Frankfurt because the train's been delayed. And I'm lucky. I've just got to Frankfurt. I've now got to get my connection to uh, um, Nuremberg. I think it's probably the Munich train. So let's find this. I've got two minutes to find it. Not, um, as fast, I don't have to run as fast as I did when I last was in Frankfurt and had about a minute between the uh, trains about three years ago. I've just got to Nuremberg station. I've not seen one Arsenal fan yet. I'm just walking to the hostel. Now I think I'm going in the right way. I think that's a cathedral, is it a church? Don't know. Unbelievable, Jeff. I've not seen one person in an Arsenal shirt. But I've just spoke to an Ipswich fan in an Ipswich shirt. Ipswich aren't even playing here tomorrow. Arsenal are. I haven't seen one Arsenal fan yet. That's absolutely fantastic. Some plant pot went and sent me in the wrong direction. I've just been walking. They're saying it's on the right hand side. The hostel happens to be near the train station. I was almost nicked door to it. Let's find it. So I eventually found the hostel. I'm now going to go for something to eat. And ha I see a little bit of Nuremberg. It looks quite uh, nice actually. Quite pretty. There is a statue and I think, I can't see them, I can hear in the background, I think Arsenal fans. There's a water fountain. I had to have one, didn't have one in yesterday's video. And in the previous clip, I said I thought I heard Arsenal fans. They weren't Arsenal fans, they were just loud. But I've just seen an Arsenal fan in an Arsenal top. Finally. Now let's guess what Daniel would eat if he was here. I wonder what. Sausage. Another water fountain. We must have had quite a few of these on this trip so far. And there's a bridge. There's a swan. Marlo would be going crack crack if she was here. And look at that, how pretty is that? It reminds me a little bit of Prague. I found another Christmas shop. It must be Christmas every day in Europe. There seems to be a lot of them. Look how cool that is. This is Dunkin Donuts where Daniel tries to find a toilet. In Amsterdam, went to Dunkin' Donuts, Daniel tried to find a toilet. There was no toilet, he bought a coffee and then had to go and pay to go to a toilet in McDonald's. This reminds me of this, but this window is really, really cool. Lots of teddies, bears. Okay, so I found a restaurant and I've been there. When I sat down, I went and sat on a piece of glass on my right bum cheek. I now have a small bottom 
and I think I might have drew some blood. It's a little bit sore at the moment. I'm sure it'll get better later on. If Daniel was here, he would start singing the song, YMCA. I'm not going to do that because I'm not that much of an idiot. I need to edit and upload this video you're watching now. So I'm walking back to the hostel to do that with a sore bum cheek. So on that bombshell, please like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.